We've gathered today to honor a very simple principle, a very simple ideal, that working people should not have to risk life and limb to make a living and support their families. The pursuit of this simple principle, this simple ideal, is what led a Republican president and a Democratic Congress to work together a quarter of a century ago to make an historic commitment to American workers to protect their health and their safety on the job. They created the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, and they gave it the mission of ensuring, quote, safe and healthful working conditions, unquote, for every working man and woman. Today, with the benefit of hindsight, we can look back upon 25 years of protecting worker health and safety and see exactly what this has meant to this country and to our fellow citizens. We know, for example, that the workplace fatality rate has been cut in half from what it was before OSHA started doing its job. We know that fewer workers are dying in construction trenches or from lead poisoning or in grain elevator explosions. We know that brown lung, the cotton dust disease, is gone. We know that fewer limbs and fingers have been lost in unguarded machinery. None of this happened by magic. This happened because the government developed standards and enforced those standards. It happened because OSHA inspections have made workplaces in America safer. When it comes to preventing health, preventing death and injury on the job, maintaining health and safety on the job, enforcement works. In fact, we estimate that more than 100,000 workers are alive today. The hundreds of thousands of people also are healthier. They don't have diseases, they don't have injuries today because of OSHA's 25-year commitment to reducing workplace hazards. Now, think about this for just a moment. And look behind the numbers. It's easy to have a lot of numbers, but there are people behind the numbers. There are people behind every single number. There are mothers, there are fathers, there are grandparents. There are people behind these numbers. Think upon the thousands upon thousands of Americans who today, because of OSHA, to continue to get up every day. They continue to put in a good day's work for their employers, and then they come home to their families, their neighborhoods, their children, their communities. Think about the lives that have been kept happy and whole, the families that have been kept together. Think about the sorrow, the grief, the tremendous waste of life that has been avoided. One of the most important family values in this country is a safe workplace. In fact, safety on the job is one way we value families in America. And think of the financial toll that all this has taken. All told, safety accidents cost our economy upwards of $100 billion a year. Occupational illnesses cost even more than that. We know that these figures would be much, much higher without OSHA. OSHA saves lives. OSHA saves money. OSHA has made our country our better place. OSHA has made a difference, and all because of a promise that was made 25 years ago. We cannot renege on that promise. 